Our speakers are, I want to say this right, Yaza Rubio and Felix Bretho. All right. All right. Uh, Yez, yo, Yeza. Yeah, Yez, Yeza is an intelligence analyst with a background in information sciences, defense industry, and cybersecurity. Felix is a computer engineer with a PhD in computer science and telecommunications. Uh, they're well known as trainers of several law enforcement agencies in Europe and regarding OSINT and also cryptocurrency research. Let's give them our attention. Their theme is heavy diving for credentials towards the perfect phishing. So thank you for, for the presentation. For us, it's like uh, uh, great being here in Vegas, uh, just trying to, to, to show you. One of the latest uh, research that we have performed in, in 11 paths regarding uh, phishing, phishing techniques and phishing methodologies just to try to make a, a phishing attack more anonymous and just to try to protect the identity of the phisher in this case, in this case of, of, of the attacker. So we know that it is the last talk of the day and, and uh, we, we know that it's going to be uh, just about 30 minutes so it, it's, it's going to be great and we're trying to make some, some exercises with, with you with uh, some bonus tracks. Uh, now we ask uh, for your collaboration we, uh, because we have prepared uh, some exercise for you and there is a price of $25 for the winner uh, in bitcoins. In bitcoins. So maybe if you're lucky and the bitcoin price rise in, in this moment, it's not uh, $25 but maybe $30 or $35. I think that it's, it's increasing since, since yesterday quite, quite a lot. Uh, first of all, we need to know uh, which infrastructure will need a fisher. So um, the uh, typical phishing attack is uh, always uh, 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 compounded by an infrastructure which is, uh, has been rented, hacked, uh, or somewhat uh, hired by, by the attacker. The attacker will clone uh, the, the website just to try to, to imitate the, the, the real, the real uh, website, okay? The fishers usually try to um, register a domain that is similar to the original one, just to, 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 as, a, as a trick, to, to try to, uh, to trick again the, the, the victim. These links are also being shared using social, social media platforms and, and emails. From the point of view of the, of, the, of the victim, well, the victim will get connected to that uh, fake website and, well, the, the fisher will get the credential and then the, the fisher will uh, be able to connect, to get connected to, to, to the uh, legit, uh, legit domain. Mm -hmm. The registration of the, of the domains uh, is a key point for the researchers because the registrant will have the information about uh, who has paid uh, and depending on the spreading uh, method used, his identity, the attacker, could be exposed when he signed up in several platforms. So from the point of view of the attacker, uh, there are some problems that he has to face. Uh, first of all, the infrastructure that uh, he has, uh, he has, he he's been using it. Uh, it uh, can uh, say a lot of things of who he is, and uh, this is something that he has to protect. He has to hide any kind of footprints that uh, this uh, this process in this process uh, uh, there there may be. So this is an important issue that we are going to face in this this uh, in this sort of talk. Now we have another problem uh, related to creative and credible. Uh, each attacker will need to be as creative as, cre as uh, and credible as possible. So the point is that uh, when spreading uh, the, the malicious links and uh, uh, well, you, you will have to find well-known platforms that will maximize the number of victims that uh, that uh, you want to, to get. If it is a massive phishing attack or if it is a spear phishing attack, you want to make it uh, as realistic as, as possible. So. The, the, these issues are the ones that we are going to, to, to try to solve uh, uh, to try to solve for a fisher uh, in the following, the following minutes. The attacker's identity will need to be anonymous and uh, thus uh, we are going to, to run a hidden services in Tor. We are going to show you uh, an example, but it's very easy. In fact, it's really easy. Have uh, any of you deployed a hidden service uh, uh, once? It's, it's really easy uh, once you have it installed. First, first of all, we have to install and then uh, we have to, to deploy uh, Tor as a service. 
Yeah, the, uh, the next thing that uh, we will uh, need to do is just to verify that we are connected to, through Tor, so we can uh, get our public IP address without uh, being connected through Tor, and we can torify them the, the, the connection, the, we are running just the same command, but with Torify, Torify command before, just to en route to, to, to send this, this uh, connection through the Tor network. Really easy, two commands to, to, uh, to, to do it. Uh, then we have to, to modify several uh, lines, uh, and we have to, to uncomment two lines in, in Tor uh, RC file. Uh, specifically, uh, we have uh, to uncomment these lines, uh, hidden service dir and hidden service port. Two lines, two lines, two commands, so it's, it's really easy. And then we have to, to restart uh, Tor as a service again. Yeah, because if not, uh, the new configuration wouldn't have been, have been loaded. So, so this, is, this is not a problem. What we are doing right now is, is uh, uh, starting an, an Apache 2 uh, server, which is the one that is, uh, is being uh, uh, mapped in port 80, as we have seen in the configuration file. So it's, it's, uh, mm -hmm. it's uh, quite then, straightforward right now. Then if we want to, to know uh, which uh, hidden services we, we have, we, we have to go to a hidden service path and uh, here we can find two, two files and the file of uh, this file hostname uh, we can find this this our our uh, dot onion so if we want to uh, launch a petition to dot uh, onion domain if we did it with uh, core and the, the onion domain uh, we, will, we will not be able to resolve that but if we do it with torify like like in the example well, uh, we will be able to grab and to collect all the information from, from, the, from that uh, hidden service. But we have this approach, uh, mm, we have a problem because uh, most users are normal users and that do not use Tor. Yeah, so um, this is a point because uh, although Tor users are, have increased quite a lot, there are several studies that uh, say that uh, even in the countries with uh, uh, more penetration, like uh, Moldova and Iceland, Tor users only represent th the 300 users per 100,000 online uh, common internet users. So the, 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 the figure is uh, unfortunately quite, quite, quite uh, slow. So we will have to find something different to try to make these uh, hidden services uh, be available for a wider, uh, an, uh, 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 a wider number of, uh, of users, okay? To, to solve this problem, we are going to use uh, Tor gateways uh, when we spread the malicious links through social network, we can use a gateway to redirect the victims to our hidden service. The point is that we are very lazy sometimes, and if we don't want to have Tor installed in our system to access to a, to a hidden service, we can use .onion.2, .onion .link, .onion .plus, .plus, which are uh, Tor gateways that uh, will let you access these domains even if you don't have Tor browser bundle installed or a Tor connection configured in your system. The point is that uh, we found out when, during, uh, during the, uh, when we were doing this, this research that some Tor gateways were providing additional information that we were not expecting and we are using it for, for fun and for profit maybe. <laughs> Now we are going to, to use and uh, which information is exposed by the gateways. Okay. We are, we are going to see it in an example that we have released, the, the source code uh, we have released it, uh, uh, in GitHub, so you will be able to, mm -hmm. to see, to, to download it and perform your own, your own test. Okay, so maximize. First of all, we are, uh, we are going small. to uh, first of all, we are going to download uh, the hidden service that we have uh, prepared uh, for this demo uh, and, and it's created uh, with, with Tor and uh, with Python and, and STEM. STEM is a, is a library to interact uh, with, uh, with Tor from, from Python. What, uh, what we are doing right now is deploying a, a very simple, but very simple, very simple hidden service that the only thing that do is uh, just uh, um, uh, showing the headers that uh, each and every request, each and every request to this uh, hidden service is being sending. Uh, why? We, we are going to see, it, to, to see it why. So it's very easy. 
you, you git clone uh, and uh, you uh, install the requirements and then uh, you, Python, you, you press Python and, and start the, 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 the application. It's really easy to do. Then we're going to see uh, which is uh, the IP address of the victim. Is this, and then we are going to verify the connection and uh, with the with the aim to to see the headers of these. Uh, do, uh, so we stop there. Stop there. So and uh, and you can see there that the headers sent by a simple core are uh, are almost five, five or four or four or four headers. So almost no information regarding the the, the user that got connected to 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 this domain using Torify core. Okay. But what happens when uh, what happens when we do this using stop there uh, okay when when we do this using onion dot link uh, platform well we can find something really interesting because uh, amongst the headers one of the headers that was being sent it's x real IP so onion dot link was sending to the hidden service the real IP address of the guy that wanted to get connected to it. So you can think about how, how this information can be used. If there is, a, uh, if there is a, a user that is getting connected to, for instance, a pornographic uh, website, the administrator of the pornographic website will know uh, which is the real IP address of, of, of the guy. Tor was not intended to, to, to be used in that way, but uh, if you use a, a Tor gateway, maybe your information can be exposed. So please avoid using them and download and install the Tor browser bundle or configure your, your own Tor connection because you don't know what kind of information can be, can be, can be sent. Okay? Uh, this, this first problem, we, uh, we have addressed it, uh, but we, yeah, have because we, have, we have a hidden service. We have a, 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 a server that, that is, is uh, exposed in the, in, in a, as a hidden service now we have, and with a Tor gateway for, for the surface users. Yes, now we have uh, deployed an, an anonymous uh, phishing, but uh, now we have another problem. Uh, now we have another problem related to creative and credible uh, of the of the attacks. So, uh, so the problem is that uh, uh, onion links are too long. So it's very easy to see uh, if you are being directed to an onion uh, website. Well, there are some tricks that we are going to 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 use just to try to make the the, the deception better. Okay. Uh, first of all, we ask you to go to Kahoot. Does anyone anyone know? Uh, no Kahoot.it. Kahoot.it is a platform that we are going to use to give you $25. So uh, we are going to, to, we encourage you to go to Kahoot.it and the only thing that you, you will need is to insert the code that Jaitha is going to, is going to show you. Because here we will ask you some questions regarding these, uh, these, uh, these, uh, these, uh, these facts. If you want to go and, uh, win the, the bitcoins, you, you will have to, to go to, to this, to this uh, web. platform. Okay. Yes. So, uh, kahoot, ka, kahoot.it. Okay. Go to my Kahoot. Wait there because we will need to, to show you the play. Okay. So you will need to insert the following pin code that uh, the following pin code that is going to be shown in the screen, and we are going to put you. I think that they are very very easy very easy challenges, but well, just the fastest one will <laughs> will be awarded with with a twenty five dollar prize. <laughs> okay, so hold on a second. We are deploying it. If you are in Kahoot.it. It is requested for a pin. Insert the one that is okay. there. We have here the pin. Four, five. Kahoot.it. Okay. Kahoot okay. Kahoot .it. And we have to introduce uh, four, five, eight, seven. So very and simple pin, four, five, eight, seven. Okay, and insert a nickname, whatever you, whatever you want. The point is that it will be shown in the, in the screen. So please do not use any kind of things uh, strange. Okay, so. Wait, wait. Okay. We have three users. We have three users. Now we are, we are going to, to do a test. Uh, have we understood the game? Okay, if you have understood the game, uh, press yes. And we don't have to understand the game, press no. Okay, four answers. Till the moment, any more answers? Okay, just for six. 
Six, okay. Time's running up. Well, six answers. So most people, we have no trolls here. Most people have understood the game. Okay, so uh, we are going to put some challenges here. You have to, to pay attention to, to what uh, we are going to, to, see, to see here because uh, the skills that we are going to show uh, are the ones that a feature that we are going to implement in the phishing attacks that we are, we are using later technically, okay? The next challenge is related to attention. In which quadrant is located the only W in this image? Okay, upper left. Upper left, upper right, lower left, lower right. Where is the only W in this image? It's difficult, right? It's really difficult. Do you know what's, why it's difficult? It's difficult because letters are very similar. So uh, this is a technique that most fishers uh, uh, tend to use when cyber squatting, when performing cyber squatting uh, attacks, just in trying to emulate uh, uh, the original domains of, uh, of, uh, of uh, common trademarks. Some people uh, change the M for an R and uh, uh, an and N. So it looks like the same in, in most uh, browsers. So th th this is something that uh, uh, we, we may, be, uh, may be using, we, would be useful for us to, to, to ship a, a, an appropriate phishing. Please don't, don't close the app. Don't close okay. the app, don't close the app. We are, we are coming back in, in a couple of minutes. Okay. Okay. Uh, these type of practice exercises are needed when conducting a phishing attack. Uh, but we have to improve uh, the image of the of a dot onion domain because it's so so, so long and so, so long and, and yes we have two approaches here two approaches the, the typical approach is using a vanity domain do you know vanity bitcoin addresses that uh, tend to use well uh, users tend to to create to create a, a, a Bitcoin address that starts with a, with a given word. We can do the same with a, a onion, onion domains. We are, can use tools like Charlotte that are available in GitHub and uh, just say, uh, saying uh, uh, to Charlotte, okay, I want the, 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 my domain to start with Twitter or Twitter or Facebook or, or whatever. And we can let the tool try to generate as many domains as as, uh, as many onion domains as, as he can until he finds a, a, a domain that matches with this with this approach. So this is one generating vanity domains. Okay, it may take a lot of time. In fact, we try to to do it with Twitter with Twitter, which is Twitter, which is six letters, and mm -hmm. we were waiting for eight hours and we. We couldn't generate it in, in our computer, so so it's it's a difficult task. task. However, there is uh, also another trick to simple simple works using a cool subdomains uh, before the blah 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 uh, dot onion. Now we are going to to see uh, one one example with uh, DuckDuckGo. DuckDuckGo is a search engine that many of you uh, know. That DuckDuckGo. That, that go, the point is that, is that it also has a hidden service, uh, a, a dot .onion version of the, of the browser that can be reached uh, only using, using Tor. Okay, uh, we can see... Uh, this, this, very long, very this, long is, this is the domain of uh, DuckDuckGo. And we are, doing to, we are going to do a very simple trick that many people don't know about onion domains but that can be useful for us when we want to conduct a phishing attack, okay? We only have to, to put before, uh, for example, twitter.com dot blah, 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 dot onion, or another example, for, uh, for example, uh, facebook dot, uh, dot com dot has uh, dot blah, 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 dot onion. And you may, be, uh, you may be asking, this is happening only in DuckDuckGo? No, because uh, uh, the point is that for uh, discovering where a hidden service is inside the Tor network, the only part important uh, is the, uh, the domain, not the subdomain, okay? So we can put whatever we want in the subdomain part. So in, in our cases, we would like to put some things la that look like the, the original website just to uh, treat the user. So for instance, if we want to emulate a Twitter, a, a Twitter, a Twitter uh, domain, we can put twitter.com dot blah, 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 dot onion, okay? So uh, th this is a very simple trick that simply works. And it is uh, something that happens because of how Tor is, uh, is structured and how Tor was, was conceived. So two approaches, vanity domains and this uh, small trick with, uh, with subdomains. Uh, this problem we have addressed, but 
we have another problem related to uh, spreading uh, the, the attacks. So uh, we're going back to, to, to the Kahoot, just uh, the, the, the ones that uh, have uh, taken part uh, uh, till, till now. Uh, go back to, to Kahoot, okay, we can see that J Max is in the lead with 826 points. And we're going to put two more challenges regarding misdirecting the, the attention of the, of the victim, mis uh, as usual, misdirecting, and uh, the, the other one is regarding movement. So it is just a matter of answering the question that is uh, appearing at the end of, uh, of the video that you are going to see right now. Okay, have uh, anybody of you been in London before? Have anybody of you been in London? I have been in London, but only once. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I was just, just tricking you, just trying to misdirect attention, because the question that we are putting there is uh, uh, what time was in the big bent tower uh, that was shown in the photo, okay? So the trick is just, uh, it's just a matter of misdirecting the attention as we are going to do in, in, in the fishing. The answers are, are 6, 6 p.m., 7 p.m., 8 p.m. or 9 p.m. If you have noticed, if you have remembered which, uh, which was, the, which was the, the hour in the clock, well, uh, uh, you, you should guess the, which is the correct answer, which was 8, uh, 8 p.m. Okay, so, sorry, sorry for the trick, okay? But uh, well, misdirecting attention is one important, a very important issue when you want to conduct also a, a, fishing, a fishing attack. And we are going to, to, to go through a technique that, uh, that, is, uh, that works very well uh, with this. The, second, the, the third challenge is the movement challenge because, uh, the, because uh, uh, the, the, human, the, the human mind and the human eye is, uh, it works in a, in a way that makes slow, slow changes be almost uh, uh, or be very difficult to, to be noticed the by, the, by is, the eye. The question is, how many elements are slowly changing in the photo? They are going to start changing uh, right now. How keep many? an eye on the photo, keep From. an eye on the photo. Okay, keep an eye on the photo and try to find the, the elements that are being changing. Okay, keep an eye. Have you seen them? Have you seen any of them? Have you seen any changes in the photo? No, no changes in the photo? Well, at least... From zero to three. Okay. Okay. okay, there have been some changes. The, oh. the plane has been removed. The, the factory was removed. The colors of the the colors of the of the of the houses were removed. Were were changed. There were some some windows that were changing too. The point is that the changes were taking place slowly. So they were taking place slowly, and it was really difficult for us to 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 to, to see the difference. If something happens very quickly, it's very easy to notice. So these two. Uh, so, uh, by the way, J, J Max, which is J Max? Okay, yeah. J Max, congratulations. We, we will, we will, we will, have, you have been awarded with yes. $25, about $25 in between. <laughs> and lately we, we, we will pay for, for, for them at the end of the talk. But uh, the point is that this, uh, these two ideas, movement and misdirection, are really important for uh, conducting a, an appropriate fishing. And there is a technique that can help us, uh, uh, like uh, reverse tap nabbing. But what is reverse tab nabbing? Consists on modifying the content of the browser tab that stays in the background. Thus, when the user goes back to the tab, he, uh, he will be in another website controlled by the attacker. So the idea can be implemented really easily with just, and it's true, a couple of lines of JavaScript code. You, you can copy that JavaScript code. We have some POCs that, uh, that, uh, that uh, we, are, we are going to see in a few, in a few uh, seconds, in a few seconds. And it's really easy. What we are doing here is just exploiting the way in which uh, new, uh, new links yeah, are being opened in, in, new, in, new, in new tabs. Some websites like Google Plus do not, uh, uh, are not um, um, properly configured to prevent uh, uh, a newly opened tab to modify the original tab in which it was uh, clicked. We are going to see now, it with an example better. Now we are going to see uh, how it works in Google+. Plus. First of all, we have uh, published in our own website a POC. This, this POC, this URL, when the, when the user uh, press on it, uh, he will redirect to devcon.org, for, for example, but the previous tab uh, have been 
have been changed. So this is, this is an issue because any link that is opened into a new tab in Google+, Plus, this does not work, for, for example, in Twitter because they, they, they are protected, in Instagram because they are protected, in the Facebook uh, uh, original website, uh, it doesn't work, work either, but it works in the, in the mobile version of, uh, yes. of uh, Facebook. Facebook. It works in the Outlook Light Web App uh, version. It works in mail.ru uh, uh, light, uh, light, uh, light application. And it used to, to work even in LinkedIn until well, we, we reported uh, all these all this, uh, small bugs to them. LinkedIn thought that it was not a security, a security issue. Mm -hmm. The point is that many platforms, many other platforms have already modified it. And they, they answered us that, OK, this is, this is something that cannot be, pre cannot be prevented. In two weeks' time, they modified it. And they say nothing to us, so please say hello or something. Now we are going to put all the pieces together uh, uh, with, the, with the problem we have uh, seen before. Now we, we are going to see the POC. The final POC with all, with all, 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 all of these parts. The parts of the demo uh, are three. Uh, first of all, we have to create uh, a malicious, malicious website with a malicious link. Uh, in a hidden service. So if we have a hidden service, it's okay, but we would only be targeting uh, towards users. No, but we don't, we don't, we don't want uh, that. We want uh, uh, common users, normal users, to be vulnerable to this, to this issue. So what can we do? We have seen it. You've seen a, a Tor gateway, like onion.link, onion.2, onion.plus, or, or whatever. And we are sending the, 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 or we are sharing the, the URL into a common platform, like in this case, it is Google+. Plus. Google Plus. Uh, the publication in Google+, Plus, uh, will, be, uh, will have to be relevant for the user to spend, with the aim to spend uh, some time there. And then uh, he will redirect to while uh, he reads while he reads uh, all, 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 all all the news and all the article. What happens in the background? In this in this case, uh, he will redirect to to the, uh, to Telegraph uh, to Telegraph, and uh, the previous tab uh, will have been will have been changed. Uh, with the phishing domain. With a phishing that will be hosted in a hidden service using onion.link, onion.whatever. So we are going to see it and we are going to analyze the consequences of, of, this, of this approach. Okay, so in the example, in the example we have a URL that we have, that uh, uh, we are sharing a URL with uh, something that we find that can be clicked by, by lots of people. So while the user clicks on it, the, the Telegraph uh, article is, is, is there, the user is reading that, and what has happened before in the previous tab, in the tab in which it was the Google, the Google Plus publication, okay, it has been changed onto a, a hidden service. So from our point of view, it's really good because we have deployed a hidden service, we have deployed a, 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 a phishing website into a hidden service, and when the researcher wants to, okay, who is behind that? Who is behind this attack? I want to, to close down that, uh, that phishing website. He can't because, because he, don't know, he doesn't know where the hidden service is located. Why? Because it is in Tor. Okay? So, so it, it, it's, a, it's a, a nice approach, just combining some different techniques and reverse tab nabbing and Tor gateways and Tor. And uh, this is really, really nice because phishers will be somewhat protected. But it's true, it's true. We have to recognize that, that this has some, some limitations. Still, yeah, yes. Still, uh, the onion dot links, uh, onion links are, are too long, so uh, we have to to fight with that. Tor gateways are sometimes too slow and stable, and may become a too clear indicator of the attack. Yeah, so uh, uh, these, these websites are not always as fast as, as we expected. Mm -hmm. If you are used to, to Tor connections, Tor connections are sometimes slow. So we have to, we, we have to find an article that in which the, the user uh, will spend at least some seconds until the, 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 website, the, the, the fake website is being loaded. And what else? And, and the other one, okay, uh, we have published the, we have published the, the, the link into a social network uh, with our own user. So this is still a problem because I will have, need to find um, a social network and a social profile we, uh, that uh, has to be created anonymously so as to be perfectly uh, anonymous. So this is still an issue that has to be dealt. Although there are a lot of uh, Tor gateways uh, like onion.plus or onion.link or onion.2, uh, the 
the best, uh, the best um, gateway to, to do this attack, uh, in, our, in our opinion, are or Onion Door Plus or Onion Door Link because it uh, permits uh, .onion subdomains and leak uh, personal information about the victim. Yeah, because onion.2, onion.guide, and so on, when you use uh, the subdomain trick, they raise an SSL error and so on, so they are not as good, uh, as, good as the other ones. But uh, meanwhile, onion.link and onion.plus are, are good approaches to, to perform this, this phishing. So uh, it's everything for our side. I think that uh, all of us want to go out uh, tonight, and it's so late. We are, we are hungry, even for... Even, <laughs> even, for Spanish guys who, who <laughs> tend to have dinner too late. <laughs> so we are waiting for your questions and comments. And uh, anyway, you can, contact it, you can contact us later. Thank you so much for attending. Okay.